here we have an identity. All right, so with the identity, we obviously want to prove that the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side. Okay, so can you guys see at the top here, we almost have a trinomial looking expression, right? Well, let's first say that we're going to start on the left-hand side. So can you see that this is like a trinomial? It's almost a trinomial, but these two are not the same. So what we have learned to do in the past, um, we learned this in grade 11. So if you are in grade 11 now, you've learned it this year. If you're a grade 12 learner, you would have learned this in grade 12, um, in grade 11, is that if you have sin squared x plus cos squared x, we know that that's always equal to 1. Then you're always just going to use this uh, to try to help yourself change that, okay? And you're always going to try to change the thing that has the square. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to say minus 2. And then I'm going to put a bracket and let's quickly take this expression and let's get the sin squared x by itself. If we do that, you end up with sin squared x is equal to 1 minus cos squared x. So I'm going to replace this sin squared x with 1 minus cos squared x. So 1 minus cos squared x. Okay, then the rest is all the same. And then the rest, I'm not going to touch anything just yet. Okay, now I'm just going to multiply the 2 in, so that gives us minus 2 plus 2 cos squared x plus cos x plus 1. And then at the bottom, uh, okay, let's go work on this one. So when you get something that's like a ridiculous number, like bigger than 360 or negative, then you just want to minus 360 or add 360, depending on which one you need to do. So here we're going to minus 360. And so if you had to use that cos 540 minus x, um, if you had to minus 360, that gives you cos 180 minus x, and that's negative cos x. So we can change this to negative cos x. So we're actually going to have two negatives now, because this negative was already there. Now I'm just going to simplify at the top. So at the top, you're going to end up with 2 cos squared x uh, plus cos x minus 1, because this is minus 2 plus 1, which is minus 1. And then at the bottom, we'll end up with 1 plus cos x. Okay, so now to factorize that, we're just going to have our two brackets because it's a trinomial. Uh, it's probably going to be a 2 cos x here, and then a cos x over here, and then a 1 and a 1. You might have to pause and just figure this one out for yourself, but it's going to end up being a plus there and a minus there. And then at the bottom, we have 1 plus cos x. Now, these two are the same. Uh, the order doesn't matter when you plus, so we cancel them out, and then we can say, therefore, the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side, because we've got it over there.